and log out. Fanex, here we come. Hello, how are we today? It's mountain time, isn't it? It is indeed, let's go. <laughs> it's just after six o'clock and we're in Abbey Moor. Stopped for a fish supper. But of course, being good Edinburgh lads, I had to bring some Edinburgh chippy sauce with me. Got to have the Edinburgh chippy sauce. You can take the boy out of Edinburgh, you can't take Edinburgh out the boy. After the long drive up the A9, we're finally here. It's uh, just after eight o'clock. We've got the tents pitched and we're just having a wee beer before heading off to bed in an hour or two. So I'll bring you back in the morning. Cheers. Morning campers, it is seven o'clock and we're just getting packed up, ready to go. It was a wee bit claggy this morning, but it's, it's starting to burn off already and it should be good. <laughs> Oh. Oh. That's it just turned 8 o'clock now and we've just set off We shuttled a car down the glen for tomorrow So we're, we're pretty much good to go The start of the walk begins by just walking along the road over a bridge and then we're just cutting through this small plantation and then that gets us out onto open hillside but we've got cracking views across the Ben Gerag at the moment there's a lovely cloud bank that's just sort of rolled in over the loch and it's looking rather nice, it's going to be a fine day Schoolboy error, we missed the turn off, too much talking. So when you're coming along, you want to shimmy down here. So that would be to your right when you're coming up. This is the last stream on the map, but um, I'm sure we'll find smaller streams further up, but we're collecting something now. So it's actually pretty hot. It is Rostio El Tostio. But... We're heading up here. There's some terraced crags there, but it looks like our path just goes to the right of them. And then whoosh, right up. Bit of a cloud inversion over here. That's stunning. Two hundred meters to go. Two hundred. When it gets bouldery, you know you've not got far to the summit. It's literally just up there, less than a hundred meters. Whew. Boom, Munro number one, done. Cracking cloud inversion. That's 12 o'clock now, so it took us roughly four hours to get here, so there'll be no land speed records today. <laughs> but that's not what we're here for anyway. Wow, super boss. So you've got the Ben Gerag group here, you've got the hills of Ascent just poking up here, you can just make out Stack Polly. 
And then we've got eight more rows ahead of us over here. <laughs> that looks a long day. This big pudding over here, that's Ben with us. And you've got his little brother, little with us, just here. And there is the lesser spotted cave. Extended break of about 45 minutes. That's us back on the go. We met the extreme Munro bagger Hazel Strachan at the summit. Oh, what a wee blair. She's on round 11. That's us down to 775 metres. We're on Bialik Ban and we're just heading up the next one. We have to negotiate a top before you get to the second Munro. This is the subsidiary top. We've just got this grassy ridge up to Munro number two here. That's Munro number three and Skurmore Munro number four because that's we're going to skirt under this out and then back and then over. Now we're almost at the summit, but there's this huge big shelter. You can get a wee cheeky bivy in that one. I wonder what the story is with this. We left the second Munro about probably about 20 minutes ago. We just got a top to go over first, and that takes us to school more. Uh, from there, we're going to see if we can pick up this bypass path, apparently. That'll get us out to the outlier, then we'll double back and then go over Skur Moor and after that we'll then find somewhere to pitch up for the night. Hi hey, mate. I hate fail runners. They make it look so easy. I'm puggled and they're just... Good girl, good girl, he's a good girl. So there's Skurmo. I'm trying to see if there is actually a, a bypass path that we can skip the summit and then and then boom, that one there. As you get a bit closer, the bypass path is a bit more obvious. You can see it there behind me. Let's go. This bypass path is certainly making life just a little bit easier. Cracking views into the quarry. And there's fresh running water literally just there. Fresh running water, guys. Hi. Party, party. Just there. A cool wee shelter. All right, mate. The hobbits in there. We've just abandoned the rock sacks just above that little shelter there. Now we need head out to this outlier. It's a pain. <laughs> Takes us off the main ridge, but it's got to be done. Absolute stunning views, there's Anchalik, there's Loch Broom and down to Liverpool. there's the hills of Ascent, and this is Munro, let's go, that's us reached the Bialik, got 100 metres to go to get to the top of this one, the path just goes underneath those boulders and then it dog legs up to the summit I think, so let's go, finally, yes, Oof. 
Here we are. Boom. Munro number three. That's me just picked myself down the boulder field. Kevin's been fixing his hair and taking selfies, I think. Alright troops, it's 10.5, we're back at our packs, the three of us are paggered. Say our feet, say our knees, been out in the heat all day. We just want to get the tents pitched now, but we've got one more obstacle, and that is Skurmore, that is right in front of us. What a Skurmore. Get up and over that, and boom, we'll find somewhere to pitch. Right, here's the branch off, that was that bypass path we took earlier. Now we take this path here, and boom, not far to go. Yes, finally. Oh, this has been tough. Oh, Munro, number four, score them all. Boom. So we just came all the way down there and it's a tough descent at this time of the day littered with boulders but we're here at the Bialak now I'm hoping we find a, a pitch for the three of us up there Stevie Aye I'm knackered Sunsets go, that was rather nice. Well, folks, I was absolutely delighted when I found that in my bag. I forgot I put that in. Worth the wait. Cheeky little beer to wash down my chicken tikka. And that is the water boiling. Happy days. Well, guys, it's been a long day, so I'm going to sign out and I'll bring you back in the morning. Cheers. See you then. Good morning campers, it's a uh, quarter past six, it's around nine degrees celsius and it's shaping up to be another fine day. It's been hardly any wind all night, trail stars hardly budged. And we need to get up soon because we've got five Munros to bag still. <laughs> stuff out in a winner. <laughs> Whilst we're waiting on Stevie, I'll just point out where we're going next. So we've got this Munro here, and then this bad boy here, and then the third Munro is here. 
and then the fourth and fifth are right behind Kevin. There. All right, leave no trace. This is us at the base of the first Munro. Got here in no time at all. It's uh, 25 past eight. I'm gonna dump the packs. Munro number five of the weekend. Oh, view. Look at the cloud that's sweeping into Anchalic there. Right into the quarry and then the top trimmed off of the cloud as well. Right, that's just before nine o'clock. Picked up the packs. Just got this boggy section to negotiate. The cloud is currently creeping in from the Atlantic. Kevin's hoping we might get one of those broken inspectors. The broken of the specter. Gorillas in the mist. Ball bags in the mist. The only way is up, baby. Whew. Skurnanklak Gala, or however you pronounce it, is 10,093 meters. I don't think it's going to be tall enough to get out of this cloud. I could be wrong. approaching the summit. The trig point has seen better days. Most of it's gone. Well, it's turned out to be a cracking day. The cloud just rolls in, rolls away, rolls in, rolls away. I'd actually go far to say this is better than just blue sunshine, because it, it breaks it up, it's something a bit different. Hey Kev. Yes. Yes. Do you shoot the beast? Do you have it in your sights? Yes, Miss Money Penny, this should present no significant problems. Will I go back to the summer and take a picture of me? No, I don't. So that's a route down here. And Munro number seven is just right there where the cloud is. That's us just ditched the packs again. We've got just over a hundred meters of ascent and about ballpark 800 meters of distance to go. So this should be a quick up and down. Right, I'm almost at the summit of Munro number seven. It is just after 11, so we've been on the go for about three hours. Munro number seven. What's the time, Kev? It's wrap o'clock, Robin. <laughs> right, folks, that's quarter to twelve, and this is us heading for the crux of the route. We drop down to 550 meters. And then Munro number 8 is 999 metres, so that's what, 
450 metres pull up basically. That was a bit of a brutal descent. Wet, steep, boggy, pain. We're going to go up this little ramp here and then and up into the summit. to my altimeter watch I have 40 meters to go I tell you what hats off to those who do these nine in a day because this is tough which one's the highest that one or that one taking those chances I'll go over them both well 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 that's number eight done one to go It's 20 past 2 and we're on the last ascent of the day. Thank God. The three of us are feeling it. We've done it, finally. It's 3 o'clock and we're on Munro number 9. I've not been doing as much filming because I'm absolutely shard, so I'm going to sign out for here and just head out. If you've watched this far, thank you very much. And I guess I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.